happy Wednesday, everybody. Beautiful day, isn't it? I don't know if you get a chance to get outdoors. I know there's not a lot of places you can go, but this is definitely one of those days that if you're able to go for a short walk around the block by yourself, I highly recommend it. It's just stunning. The air is a bit of a cool breeze, but the sun is nice and warm. It's truly springtime right now. If you can't get out, it'd be a good day to open up your windows, enjoy a little bit of fresh air, because, whew, what a day. I think we needed a day like this. I think we've been looking forward to it for a long time. It kind of made me remember the uh, spring track and field that we used to do at school way back when I was a little guy. I don't know if many of you know this, but I used to run long distance. My friend Jason and I entered every marathon-like run that they had at the school, and he always beat me, but, uh, but I still loved it. I loved running, and I loved running for a long time. And when I was young, long before my body got out of shape and long before the time in the streets and drug addiction and all that took its toll on all my joints, I uh, used to run a lot. And I remember... I remember running sort of the long like 1500 meter races and stuff like that that you know there was kind of a rhythm to it all you know the gun would go off and we'd all start running and you'd be trying to get used to this this new thing you didn't know what was going to happen you didn't know who was going to break out into first and and who was going to take what position or if there'd even be injuries during the race you just sort of knew we were all in this together and we're all going to go and it's going to take a while to get there and so you start running and after a little while you start developing a rhythm you get used to the run you get used to what's going on and your body sort of develops this rhythm of the race and you hold that you hold that until you start getting to a spot in the race where the end is in sight and sometimes you you can't actually see it but whether it's by a marker along the track or the way the crowd was cheering on you knew that soon, whatever that meant, the end would come into view. And that's when things changed. That's when the excitement and the anticipation, uh, it started to churn inside of you and you started to push a lot harder, most of us. Some of us didn't. Some of us started to sink into defeat. And I, I mean, I've experienced both things. It's hard. That last leg of the race was always the hardest part of the whole race for me, no matter how long I'd been running. It was that last mile kind of thing that we would round the corner and there'd be this off in the distance view of tape and crowd and all that stuff. And that's when your body's just screaming. I just want this to be over. <laughs> now, I don't know. I was never a professional runner. I was never uh, somebody who did it um, even, even in an amateur way. Uh, you know, I never toured around and went to different schools and stuff like that. I just did it around home. But I remember that last leg and I remember how much uh, it, it affected me deeply. And I realized today as I was thinking about that, just enjoying this weather and the sun, that you know what we're going through right now is an awful lot like that long distance race you know we've all developed rhythms and we've all been kind of pushing through to get to the end but now now with news releases about you know possible phasing out of the quarantine and and uh, slowly releasing restrictions that have been placed upon us there's an anticipation in the air there's a we may not be able to see that end line, but, but we can sort of feel it, that, that it's coming and that somewhere we're going to turn a corner and we'll be able to see the end. And for a lot of people, that's building up a lot of excitement. That's, it's, it's putting us into a place where we're, we're excited about getting there and we're starting to churn a little bit harder and we're starting to maybe press in a little bit more. Maybe we're even starting to cut a little, cut a few corners. And then there are others that are just exhausted. They feel depleted and man, hope is just a, a wisp, it's a vapor, it's such a, a tiny thing for them right now because they've been struggling for so long in this race. But I want to encourage you that wherever that corner is, wherever that end line is, the end to all of this is coming and we've done well. We've done well. We've done way better than most others, I would say. 
you know, I hear reports and read news articles and see things online that show me that there are places and peoples out there that are not doing this well. So if anything, I want to encourage you this morning to hang in, hold on to your rhythm. The end's coming and you're going to make it. It's going to be okay. I had said that I didn't want to do a sort of a COVID-19 report or, or make, this about, uh, make this about health every Wednesday. You know, but the truth is, I think it's important that we talk about this stuff. And especially now, when the government is sort of laying the foundations for a slow and steady release from social isolation. I, I just want you to be encouraged to know that we're all still here. You know, and we're all struggling in our own way. But ultimately, deep down, we're all doing pretty well. You know, I've had a lot of very encouraging phone calls already, and it's only Wednesday. It's, it's, it's the middle of the week, and I've already had a lot of great conversations. So I want to encourage you. Today is a beautiful day. Today marks a day of freedom. Get outside if you can. Enjoy some of this sun. Let it soak in. Smell the fresh air, the spring air. Notice the birds. Hear them. See them. There are other people out there too. You know, keep your distance. But notice. Notice that this is a new season. Anyway, I just I want to say I love y'all. And uh, I pray the very best for you. And uh, I hope you're doing great. And I can't wait to see you. Blessings.